Oh, I have a parasite. Now that Venom's out, you're probably asking yourself two questions. Is Tom Hardy ever not a badass? I don't know. And is it a sequel, a spin-off, a remake, or a reboot? You already know the answer to the first question. Give us a minute to answer the second. A good idea is a good idea forever. Hollywood sure thinks so. <laughs> David Brent, my liege. Michael Scott! The business of remaking movies is nearly as old as the motion picture itself. We're talking turn of the century old. <clears throat> the 20th century. And in the hundred or so years since, cinema has evolved the singular notion of a remake to a more elaborate enterprise of a reboot, spawning almost as much terminology as it has Spider-Man flicks. A remake is a movie that essentially tells the same story as an older film, like Ocean's Eleven. You really are a rat. You're a thief and a liar. Long before George, Brad, Matt and company looted Andy's Casino in 2001, Frank, Dean, Sammy and company pulled off the same heist in 1960. But even in 1960, remakes were old hat. The first one was produced in 1904 of a film that was released just one year earlier. Shameless, maybe, but the filmmaker was on to something. Sequels are movies that pick up where a previous movie left off in the story, like Ocean's 12, The Godfather Part 2, and pretty much anything with the two at the end of the title. The first sequel on record was The Fall of a Nation in 1916, the follow-up to the controversial 1915 film The Birth of a Nation. Spin-offs are derivatives of existing properties that shift the narrative viewpoint. Translation, the supporting character in the original gets his own show or movie, like Frasier from Cheers, The Cleveland Show from Family Guy, or Creed from Rocky. Most historians date the first spin-offs back to 1941, when a minor character on a radio comedy show got his own series on NBC called The Great Gildersleeve. Reboots are harder to wrap your head around, especially because they affect franchises which may already have sequels, remakes, and spin-offs under their belt. Reboots also don't need to worry about continuity, but they do care about a rebranding of the franchise, like Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins or Paul Feig's Ghostbusters. Let's go. The first reboot dates back almost 35 years, when the longest-running cinematic franchise produced The Return of Godzilla. This reboot was the first of many. Godzilla has since been rebooted multiple times by Toho in Japan and three times for American audiences. Rivaling this rate of reinvention is Spider-Man, which has been rebooted again and again this millennium on the shoulders of Toby, Andrew and Tom, or Raimi, Webb and Watts, depending on how you look at it. So what about the latest and greatest extension of the Spideyverse? What do we call Venom's feature debut besides rad? Survey says it's a spinoff. That lives in a universe that has been rebooted over and over. Do you follow all that? Or have you just been thinking about Tom Hardy? Because I have.